If you're working with a power wheelchair or a power chair and, and you have a motor controller that looks like this, maybe, maybe from a Jazzy, and uh, this is the remote control that you see. And uh, I can show you a few things about this. On, on this controller here, these connectors here are for the motors, the right motor and the left motor. The white and yellow wires are for the electric brakes and the red black wires are the DC drive motor voltages for the uh, forward and reverse control of the motor. And in the center here, this is the 24 volt DC power in. And this cable here, this goes out here to the uh, controller to interface to it. And uh, I found out uh, in my application, I wanted to do away with the electric brakes. The electric brakes are normally applied and you have to apply 24 volts to dis to to disable the brakes or release the brakes. And I found that I could put a, a, a 2000 ohm resistor across the uh, wire going to the electric brakes and it would allow the controller to uh, boot up and begin to work. If you don't have the, uh, the electric brakes connected or if you don't have a terminated resistor on here, it, it uh, won't power, it won't allow it to power up. It'll say, it'll give you an error code. So I can show you here, uh, I can power it up and I get the full uh, charge here. And also you'll notice the voltage, I've got a voltmeter here that's connected across one of the channels of the electric brake. And you can see I've got about a uh, 0.457, that's a, about a semiconductor drop across the re resistor there. And I'll, as, as I apply a, a command, you'll see the voltage here go up to 24 volts as the brake is released and the motors begin to spin and then as soon as you release the joystick uh, the brakes are then applied because the voltage is removed and uh, but I wanted to do away with the brakes I don't want the brakes in, in, in my application and I, so I needed to figure out a way to uh, make the controller power up and I also didn't want to waste the power I didn't want to waste the power going through a coil so I just put a 2000 ohm resistor in there and uh, that this equates to uh, about uh, there's 24 volts across that in a 2000 ohm resistor so that's about 12 milliamps of current going through so it's not a whole lot of power um, going to the uh, what would have been the electric brakes and so this is a way I'll show you if you uh, power it off And now if I disconnect the, the resistor here on one, on one channel, you'll see when I, when I try to power up, I'll get an error message or an error. It just flashes and it won't allow you to do anything. So if you want to disable your brakes or remove the brakes for some reason, you can just use a 2000 ohm resistor also, a 1000 ohm or a 270 ohm uh, would work also. I believe there's a circuit in here that just needs to see some continuity in the form of the diode drop. And so that's why I think that's why you get the 0.45 volts there, half a volt. But um, that's a quick tip if you want to use your controller for some other process or some other application where you really don't want to have to deal with the brakes on the motor. And in my case, that's what I have to do, what I wanted to do, so I disabled the brakes, took the, removed the brake mechanism from the motor, and just applied uh, a resistor across the control voltage.